car stream car stream welcome to the post game show obviously uh in the car today in the san francisco giants fall to the d-backs to split the series today four to three in a frustrating game a game in which bob melvin and matt williams get ejected terrible umpiring today a little bit of it benefited the giants but the vast majority of it um went against the giants and uh uh, I'm not blaming that on the loss, but definitely a frustrating game all told. Um, Mike Yastrzemski had a big home run. That was nice, but the end of the game, he strikes out. Uh, despite a little late inning rally, the Giants lose. So win a series against Miami and then split this series against the D-backs in a couple of really tough games. One in which the Giants got slaughtered and then today a very frustrating one but we're gonna keep on keep our hands high keep it going and uh, move on to the next series and uh try to put this one in the back seat but we do got to recap it so we're gonna recap it kayla large turkey what's up otai champ big we second pitch was ball two and changed at that at bat that ump was terrible absolutely terrible whatever his name was ball water i forgot uh uh, uh how stew stew something water terrible absolutely terrible uh umpire is a look at me guy yeah they, yeah a lot of them it's about them they got to make it about them the saint literally quit trying to blame the hitting coach michael roeder is here anyone uh who was the plate umpire yeah uh, it was a uh, stew something a water home plate umpire must have got fired from high school because he totally sucked yep i guess he's par for the course at, at the mlb level the worst umpiring in baseball is at the mlb level. okay maybe not literally but um, they're pretty bad because of the power trip. They can't get fired. They can't get demoted. Why not? They can do whatever they want. They have full power. It's straight up a power trip. Uh, can't overlook the errors. Yes, a tough error today by um, Ahmed. A uh, dropped ball. A tough play by Fitzgerald, who could have uh, just uh, a couple of misplays, missed bases, loaded opportunities. And uh, basically, we gave them the game. We gave them the freaking game. We gave them the game. In my opinion, that sucks. And that was a disgraceful performance, in my opinion. We threw that game. We gave it away by doing that. We gave them the friggin' game. In my opinion, that sucked. And it has definitely been a poor start to the season. Starting to get a little better, but the Giants are playing basically 500 ball lately. I mean, this was a 500 series, two and two, and that's just not good enough. You know, with this offseason, 500 ball is not going to cut it. Uh, we need Robert Rothbard. Nowhere to be found. He promised a giant series win and, of course, didn't. It's a shocker. Who keeps the streak alive? Oh, good question, Jim Thorogo. This might be the day. This might be the day, and I can't even blame y'all if the streak ends today. We'll give it. We'll give it 25 minutes. We'll give it 25 minutes, and if the streak does not, if the if the streak doesn't end great, if it ends, so be it. Um, but yeah, blame the ump's today. So let's go ahead and recap this one. Today's recap brought to you by Tommy Hugsley. Uh, thank you so much for the longtime support. Kayla blaming the umps, and the umps were not great, and they're usually not. Um, usually not. So the Diamondbacks took it very early. They kind of worried me because it reminded me of the game a couple of games back. The Diamondbacks took a one nothing lead. It stayed one nothing for a while. Then we ended up getting our butts kicked in that game. But it was one nothing. And then Mike, after a Tyro Estrada hit, Mike Yastrzemski, who is starting to heat up, crushed a home run to put the Giants up two to one. But then it was, I believe, the sixth inning. Jock Peterson got a base hit. Suarez got on with an error that I mentioned earlier, an error from um, Ahmed. And then Moreno with a base hit. And um, the Diamondbacks took the lead three to two. Uh, but then it was the ninth inning, and that's when everything, all, all hell broke loose um, with the Newman at bat where he swung and missed, clear as day swung and missed. Uh, and the umpire said, no, foul tip. Foul tip. And I believe he ended up doubling. And uh, whatever the case, the Diamondbacks took the lead four to two. Um, the Giants did score in the ninth. Uh, there was a couple of doubles, a uh, Chapman, a uh, Tyro. Uh, Giants had a little rally going, but unfortunately it was too little too late. The strikeout from Yaz to end it. And if I was Yaz, I'd have turned around and said, foul tip, right, bro? Foul tip? 
but no, did not get the foul tip call like uh, Newman got. So Kevin Newman um, uh, with that uh, very controversial swing right there. And um, uh, 99 cents will keep the street going. 99 cents is to keep the street going. Uh, whatever the minimum that they allow. I'm not asking for it. I, I don't even expect, you know, it, it's always appreciated. Nobody has to send a penny this way. It's much appreciated. It helps the channel. Uh, right now, it's pretty much keeping me going here with the channel and how I can do videos even like this. Yes, I'm not home right now, but um, like if I had a normal job, there's no way I could do a post game. Excuse me, boss. I got to go to post game right quick. That ain't going to fly at most normal jobs. Um, but I do have to be out and about and work on some of my other businesses. But uh, that was because you, Tommy, had to play guitar all day. LOL, even yesterday. Um, it, it, oh, no, no. You know, you can't blame it all on the umps. But lost by one run. And Kevin Newman had a key hit. The streak continues. Jim. Thorough kill with the five to keep the streak alive. And I, I'm i shocked. I really am. I thought uh, for sure, especially if Jason Corona's not here, uh, the streak is in serious trouble because Jason Corona pretty much is guaranteed. But Jim Thorough kill comes to the rescue. Five super chat. And, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you for that, Jim thorough kill and we also have a super sticker from both falcon keeping the streak going both of you thank you so much a super sticker Bo falcon is the man uh thank you so much orange custom and and, and i need energy i'm right here at the gas station right now i was about to go get, get, get myself a drink because i'm very thirsty uh i had to stop and do the post game show um I'm out and about. I, I I'm out and about. Usually, I'm doing baseball stuff. Believe it or not, I'm hitting hitting games and and checking out uh, uh, players. But um, listen to almost the entire game and uh, very very disappointing one today. Like I said, and I did check out. Um, I stopped, checked out that replay to make sure I could see from my own eyes. And there is no way he he foul tipped that ball. Uh, we got a pound, a pound from Jorge's. Clarenco, thank you so much. Five. Oh, who else? Jim Thoroughkill, Orange Customs, George or Jorge Clarenco, thank you so much. Big supporter, AM Echo Sky. It's going to be hard tomorrow versus the Mets. The Mets are hot, but they're about to slow down. Giants need a big series. We need a sweep. We need to play. Uh, I guess I don't need my seatbelt since I'm not moving right at the moment. Um, but we need to play somebody and beat somebody. Who's pretty good now? The D backs are good; they're nationally champs. But we didn't really win the series. We split the series two two. That it could have been worse. Split the series two two. Now we got to go and take care. Of, now we got to take care of New York Mets and try and sweep them. Sweep the Mets right here. It's time. It's time to get it going. Thank you so much. Four super chats all in a row. But yeah, I mean, right now the team, um, the, the the obviously. Pitching is is uh has got to get better, um, and hitting with runners in scoring positions. It's we're having better games. We're getting better. Um, we just gotta just gotta start playing like a good team, like a team that's gonna win close to hundred games, not a team that's gonna lose 80, 90, 100 games. So uh, I think we're moving in the right direction, and we just start got to start getting a little bit better consistency. I like the depth that we have. I like our guys in the minors are, are, are tearing it up to this day. Uh, a lot of guys are looking really good, but now that Yaz is starting to heat up, um, the only question is still on Austin Slater. Is he going to get the bat going? But um, yeah, a sweep to the Mets would be what the doctor's ordering right now. Miles Straw, great, great outfield, great player. Missed the first hour of the game, was doing something for church related. Yeah, it was pretty slow for the first hour. It was one nothing for a long while. And I thought that uh once the Giants took the lead, that maybe we could add on and get and 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 get this get this series win. And it just did not happen. It was a it was a crazy game with the ejections. Bob Melvin, I believe I lost count. Uh, I believe he's been ejected about 62 times, maybe more. 60 something times in his, his career and already twice as a giant he's been ejected. Um, it may be a little much. Like you don't need to, to go and you know, get ejected that much, but I do like the passion for sure. And in this particular case, this was a big moment. This was a big play late in the game. And how are you going to call that a foul tip? Unless you're sure it's a foul tip. Do you know what a foul tip sounds like? 
You know what the sound of wood hitting the ball is? Everyone knew that wasn't a foul tip. How are you in the big leagues? Typical, they just get enough hits or runs to lose. Um, and then had a chance to catch up. Yes, was the tying run, but even in my back of my mind, I'm like, yes, yeah, I'm going to go deep again. If he does, oh, dude, this is going to be one of the greatest home runs, especially if the Giants are able to, to come back and win the game. But if yes could have hit a, a game-tying shot right there, that would have been absolutely awesome, but didn't quite happen. But Yaz is a good guy, man. I got the ball. I still got, the, I still got my spring training ball right here. Where's Yaz? Where's Yaz? I know Yaz signed the baby. Um, right there. Right there. Who we got there? That's Mike Yastrzemski and Tyler Fitzgerald. F Tyler Fitzgerald's on the top. Mike Yastrzemski underneath. So we appreciate those guys. We got my man Luis Matos right there. I, I hope I can remember everybody. We got my man right here uh, who's no longer here. J.D. Davis. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, but apparently that don't cut it when you sign Matt Chapman. You send J.D. packing and don't pay him. Gotcha. Um, and then we'll go from the bottom, Casey Schmidt. This one is uh, McCray, Grant McCray. And what about these two? Anybody know? Who are those two for bonus points? Bonus points for these last two. Uh, Jung, who is okay. I hope I, he came up holding. Oh yeah. I saw that. Uh, I, I heard it on the radio and I checked that out afterwards. Yeah. Uh, we need Jung who for sure. After that series, we stay in for another three at home to play the pirates. Uh, next two days, Luis severance, severance, Severino, and Logan Webb. Didn't even look like a foul tip. Not at all. Melvin has been ejected more than Kapler all of last season. Yes. The pitching was fine. I think the umpire woke up this morning and said, I want some attention today. I need a little bit of attention. I need some, some of the attention on me. We're going to go out there and make this about me. 100%. Bailey, 14. You got it. That is that the number kind of does give it away. But this is Patrick Bailey at the top. That's Patrick Bailey right there. But what about this one? This is the, probably the most valuable on the whole ball. That right there in the middle. Next. Next up, New York Mets. Oh, uh, no, you know what? I never get Lee. I never got Lee. Um, I never did get Lee. That's all I got. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I, I did not get Lee. Um, some guys don't come over to sign. You got to get their attention and they might, they might not. Uh, I got a couple other baseballs as well. Um, Marco Luciano will sign. Um, obviously, Mato signed it. Um, but some of them don't really – it's nothing against Lee. He's, he's a, he, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but, you know, he's he doesn't probably speak the language too well. He probably is just trying to – he's just focused on, on playing right now. So he, he didn't uh, – he probably didn't want to come over. Someone talks to him and maybe, you know, he probably just uh, – he may be next year. I'll try to get Lee. Uh, the Pirates are terrible, but the Giants have to adjust to make it play. Uh, are they wearing the throwback New York Giants jersey against the Mets? Calvin, yes, they are. For Kayla says yes. I haven't checked on that. But yeah, Kayla, thank, thank you for that for that comment. You are amazing. And everyone else, awesome, awesome support. Warlock is here. Um, but yeah, Melvin is, is, is fired up. He Yeah, you probably have to ask his translator. I mean, obviously, he knows what I want. I got a pin and I got a ball. Bro, what do you think I'm asking you for? Please tell me. I don't have to say this in Korean. Sign the freaking ball. Uh, but yeah, Lee, that would be sick. I I, I wonder if they're, yeah, I, I, yeah, that would be sick. That would be sick. Um, and uh, what else? What else? What else? But uh, yeah, that's a cool baseball. I took that to spring training. I could have gotten more, but like, I don't, I don't like to be pushy about or getting any, any, get in front of anyone else. So I'll let everyone else get theirs. And if, if it's convenient, I, I I love I love autographs. We collect the autographs since since I'm since I'm little. So it gets a little weirder because now I'm older than the players. But I, I still, this is sick, dude. I don't care. Uh who we got here? I mean, he's Korean, Eric. He somewhat can't understand. Like you know, I know he can't understand, but I'm pretty sure they do autographs in Korea. Actually, they do because I lived in Korea. I lived in Korea for almost a year and a half, and so clearly, I should speak a little bit. But I didn't really learn Korean. Strangely enough, I learned Chinese. Uh, after that, um, and, and of course I speak Spanish, but I never literally learned Korean. I, I tried, but it found it pretty challenging. 
And I just didn't have time because I was in the army. Um, Bailey, uh, 14. Thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, the next series coming up is the Mets. And uh, we'll be sending out some of our dudes out there. We'll snail pitch for them. We'll snail pitch. One of, we'll sn regardless, whenever Snell's next turn in the rotation is, we better see something out of Blake Snell. This is a key to the season. Webb is looking sharp. Even Keaton Wynn is looking sharp. I would say Harrison is looking pretty good. Harrison is looking, the stuff is filthy. He's got to work on his command, but I like what I see. And obviously Jordan Hicks is looking fantastic. The entire rotation is looking pretty good despite some hiccups here and there other than Snell. Snell is getting lit. Snell is getting lit. Unfortunately, I only got to like one game. I didn't have a whole lot of free time, but uh, definitely had to go to at least one while I was there. I should have went to a bunch of games. I wish I could, could go back, but it was, it was, you don't have a lot of free time. You can't just go where you want. It's one of the things about the army. I couldn't just go any old time. The city, the place I was stationed didn't have a team nearby and I couldn't just just on my on my whim, on on a whim after work, like go. You have to get permission. You have to get leave. You have to get get signed. You have to get approval from all the chain of command. It's an absolute pain, and it's why. Um, don't ask me if you if some someone younger person thinking about joining the army. Don't ask me because I'll tell you, hell no, uh, hell no. Um, I'll say, do you value freedom? And uh, you know, <laughs> do you value? Um, you know, kind of being able to do what you like when you're off work. Stay the hell away from that place. Uh, Kayla. Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Japanese, I learned a little bit. Ichi ni sanshi go roku nani hachi kyuju. Something of that nature. Um, Chinese, I haven't spoke for a while, but uh, I actually got pretty good at that. I, I could read. I could read a lot of characters. I can even kind of read a book and kind of get, kind of get it and, uh, and write it pretty well and you know say what i needed to say but not not i wouldn't say fluent but you know com almost conversational at one point um yeah going a wall for korean baseball yeah i mean i i i really enjoyed it over there but I, I would go to seoul uh uh whenever i could but again getting approval even in the states even when you're stationed here you you have to stay in your little Tiny little crappy town that that, that wherever the uh, oh crap here come the cops oh shoot well it's been a fun ride guys but uh, that's it no but what I was saying was even stateside like you can't just drive out two hours or an hour right? you can't go anywhere you're stuck on base or you can go to the little town that you're in and that's it. Uh, we got the cafecito mañana. Vamos a empezar una semana correctamente. We're going to uh, be, uh, begin a new week correctly. Let's freaking go. We're going to start off right for cafecito 499 super chat. Jason Corona, I knew you would be here. We, we did get some super chats earlier to keep the streak going, but I knew if not, you were going to show up before the 25-minute mark. I said, I'm going to give it 25 minutes. We're at 1850, and Jason Corona has made it. Um, I see the Mets winning two of three from the Giants. Tomorrow on Thursday, absolutely Snell against the Mets. Hmm, not a good idea. Yeah, that's going to be a big game to look at. Oh, my goodness. Bo no, 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 no. I thought it was Bo Porter. D. Porter. Hey, all. 20. Not a lot of baseball talkers, so let's talk music. Oh, music. Let's see what this says here. Let me see what this says here. Let's put it on the screen so I can see it. Um, do you see there's a new three or four part documentary about Bon Jovi? Not sure when it comes out, but it's good. I have seen that. Talked about a little bit on, on Eric's house, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. It's for the 40th anniversary of the band, and I'm definitely uh, looking forward to that. That's a 20 spot. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I think it's a five, 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 four ninety nine, twenty five. Holy crap! Thank you so much, D Porter. And uh, yeah, I agree. That's going to be really interesting. I, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah. You know, there's pros and cons. There's pros and cons to everything. And uh, what can you do, man? But the umpire wasn't great. I'm not going to just go on and on. I'm not even going to make a video criticizing this umpire. The series over. Hopefully we have a new crew next time. And this guy here, Stu, whatever, you know, can... Maybe it was just a mistake. Maybe it was a bad game. I can't say for sure. It's not someone that I've I've I've, I've really 
heard of too much. I mean, I recognize his name from box scores, but um, he ain't an Angel Hernandez level guy. So there are guys like Angel Hernandez who umpires defend. People defend. People actually defend the umpires. I do, they do, because I say they have no accountability. They're like, yeah, they do. They get graded every game. Graded what? Who cares if you can't get the motor or or or, or fired? What do grade mean? Maybe they don't care. It's like you can grade me. Oh, how many baseball gets an F? Well, I don't care. I'm still rolling. Who do, who cares? If you can't get fired, what does it matter? My grandfather is a Korean War vet too. Also, oh, you're also a War vet. Calvin Jefferson, thank you for your service. We do appreciate it. Rob Drake, awful. Couldn't even think of his name the other day because I think I've, I've gone ahead and just removed that from my brain. Thank you so much, Ted Williams. Uh, Rob Drake uh, is horrible. And he called a game that I'll never forget on the last game of the year in 2020 that we were the Giants would have won that game, would have been in the playoffs, and everything was a strike. He made sure that Giants team wasn't going to the playoffs. And I know um, he – I'll just say I had some reasons to think that, that Rob Drake won on the up and up that night, okay, wasn't keeping it a buck, okay. Uh, thank you for your service, Calvin. Who's going to the Reds Giants 5-11? Let's meet up. Is there a giveaway? Um, but, yeah, some of the umpires are okay for sure. I do have a new jersey. I will, I'll do a, an unboxing of my jersey. It's of a player that uh, is not even on the team right now. He's in the minor leagues. Hasn't been on the team since 2022, but he's one of my favorites. And I got the jersey. And uh going to be doing the unboxing. I like to get players like like – Proctor. Okay. I like to get guys who are like, who like guys weren't in the big leagues that long. It actually pops more in the park because you're walking through the ballpark with the Jersey and it says like Posey or something like that, or, or Pence or it's like, yeah, we see those every all the time, but you see a Jersey and it's like a player who was just here briefly like, Oh snap, check that out. Connor Joe or something, you know, you don't see it too often. So uh, it'll be one of those jerseys. Uh, crap third strike call against Slater. Yes, terrible. Um, I'm almost preparing to get the trumpet ready for tape on this season. Call it premature, but I highly doubt our stagnant hitting is going to improve. Guys just can't see ball, hit ball, and that's unfortunate. But um, let's just hope this thing turns around. There will be a point where I can't say it's early anymore. I'm going to run out of excuses for this team, and that point could come very, very soon but until then i want to thank you guys for the support today is just a brief post game I, I, earlier games are harder for me to get to studio i'm hoping eventually i can just always almost always be there but i think a, a, a car post game is better than no post game thank you for the super chats shout out to everybody bo falcon jim thorough for continuing the streak i do appreciate it uh, clarenco for the five pounds uh, thank you so much. That is amazing. Orange Customs, you are awesome. Jason Corona for the Cafecito and my favorite, my man. I mean, you're all my favorite, of course, but D Porter, you are the man. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. All the support and everyone else and the members. We're going to talk to you guys next. Coming up on 25 minutes. I said I was going to do 25, and we're going to stick to that for today. Giants lose, but Bart's tearing it up in Pittsburgh. Where my Bart jersey? Um, I'm hoping they send me the jersey because sometimes I've ordered jerseys and they won't send them to me because they the, the player's not on the 40-man roster or something. It's like, I mean, if he's in the organization, I'm hoping that they'll send it, not cancel it. But uh, I did, I do got a jersey incoming. We'll do a special unboxing. And uh, this will be for uh, post-game shows and to wear at Oracle Park. Uh, every year I order a jersey. Last year, uh, I forgot who I ordered last year. The year before, was it last year or the year before? After that Grand Slam, I ordered the Proctor jersey. Uh, <laughs> so you never know. It all, the tradition started back in the day, back in 2010, when I ordered the Cody Ross jersey. And it turned out Cody Ross was actually vital. Cody Ross turned out to be a pretty key player. Player to this day, people remember Cody Ross. But when we first picked him up on waivers, I didn't know Cody Ross was going to turn out to be such a key player, but uh, I liked him even then. You guys have a great day. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Got to go. Me too. 25 minutes. Thank you so much. And we're going to talk to you guys. Uh, the player of the game today, player of the game. We're going to give it to Mike Yastrzemski, even though he struck out to end the game. Mike for the bomb. Mike Yastrzemski, player of the game. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow.